it's Saturday, March 16th, and it's 6 o'clock Eastern Time. And you've got mail. Well, you don't, but I do. It's big, it's bold, and it's ready for the harshest environments. Get ready. G-Shock's evolving again. The Casio G-Shock Range Man, third generation. The GPR H1000. Oh boy, it's unbelievable. With the exception of maybe the size, they're not for everybody, but hey, give her a shot if you get a chance to put her on the wrist. Super excited. GPR H1000. Ooh boy. Similar to the GBD H2000 packaging. Module 3554. Alligator cable for charging. We have dual charging. Comes in two variations. We have a yellow and a black. And guess what? They did it again. Only negative display available for this one. I love the positive display in the Casio G-Shock Mudman GW9500. I wish they would have had a positive display with these models. Not yet. Ha ha, she's out. <laughs> Looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Ooh, we're gonna have fun with this. All right, we're in the studio for the Casio Rangeman G-Shock. Module 3554, the new release, third generation. Whew, I'm impressed so far. But is it everything that you expected? First of all, you have to know you're going to have Bluetooth connectivity here. We've got lots of features and sensors and functions going on, so just so you're aware. However, I am already on the app, the Casio app. It looks like that, right? So as you can see, not only do I have the GBD H2000, which I just found, I'll link the video down for that. It's a good story. Because I lost it for a small period of time, I ordered myself the Casio G-Shock Range Man, the GPR H1000. Super fast, right out of the box, easy to connect to the app, pairing, no problem. Within minutes, you're back up and you've got everything you need, just like the GBD H2000, except on the GPRH 1000. Fantastic. Another master of G powerhouse. Built for some of the harshest conditions out there. It is a great build for 2024, let me tell you. And I'm gonna have fun with it. Toronto to Montreal. Let's see what kind of steps we can put on this baby. And you're coming with me. Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. What the F? Ah, long story, but I forgot my watch. Hope I don't miss my flight. Ta-da! Should have seen the bells and whistles go off when I came back through security a second time, but I got the watch on now. We're de-iced. First time ever going through this de-icing process. It's like a big car wash for airplanes. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Shock resistance, mud resistance, water resistance, 200 meters or 20 bar. Whatever situation you want to throw at it, the range man is going to be ready. Whatever exercise, outdoor activity you want, the watch can monitor for you. Blair Witch Project come to mind? Yeah, you're not getting lost anytime soon with a range man on. From the step tracker to the workout and fitness activity monitoring, you name it, the range man can likely do it. It's a bold design and built for purpose. Look out. Calling all military and first responders. You may like this one. If you've got the wrist to pull this baby off, don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I'm telling you right now. I have the GW9400 range man because the strap on that one is super durable and strong and tough, but it's also much thicker. It looks as though the H1000 range man has picked up a few things from the G-Shock Move, the GBDH 2000, including the strap. So it's much lighter and softer with that rubber and resin, and it feels great on the wrist.
we're trekking a mountain right in the heart of downtown. Like, look at that. Harsh conditions for the GPR H1000, but we're getting through it. Oh, shucks. The water fountain's closed. All right, looks like just over 22 minutes to get to the summit. 1.04 kilometers for the climb. At my max, I was uh, trekking here at 151 beats. Average was 128. And as far as altitude goes, I think we were up maximum distance or height of 312 meters above ground level. It has that traditional look of the G-Shock range man while being brought together with a lot of points and tech from the design of the G-Shock Move, the GBD-H 2000. Utilizing the same module with the GPS tracking and Bluetooth capabilities here, I was really, I was kind of gun shy with regards to Bluetooth connectivity here, but you know what? I've learned a really good lesson, especially after I lost this baby and just got her back. I left it in a rental car. The link below for that story. So yeah, although the measurements are a little chunkier than its predecessor, it's actually a softer resin with, it almost feels like rubber. It's fantastic. And with this carbon core build technology, you have ultimate protection with this case around the module, looking at serious impact resistance. Now I'm not gonna drop it out of an airplane or a helicopter or something, but you get the idea. I love the soft shell that they've put on this now. Great touch. So we're looking at the 60.6 .6 basically across the lug to lug, 53.2 across the watch, and 20 millimeters in thickness, which I mean is a step up from its predecessors coming in usually at around 17 or 18. But out of the box, strap and all, 92 grams, that's not bad at all. Another thing I like is that find your phone. That's pretty neat. I like to play with Mateo every once in a while. I'll tell him to go hide my phone somewhere in the house and play hide and seek, and then I'll hit the button on my, my watch, and boom, it sounds the alarm, and I can find it. Comes in handy in case you leave it out there somewhere, or you misplace it. Okay, well, let's show these people on the internet how to find my phone with the GPR H1000. iPhone 13 Pro Max. We're gonna hide it in Mateo's room, and I'm gonna find it using the GPR H1000. All right, Mateo's ready. He's all done. Let's see if we can find the iPhone 13. Press and hold your top left button, the adjust or reverse. Press it again until you get to phone finder. And away we go. iPhone found. What they should have is a find my watch. <laughs> Genius! Don't forget to give me an honorable mention there, Casio, when you put that on the next <laughs> model of the Casio G-Shock Range Man or Mud Man. A full bio-based resin and steel accent guards for the GPS antenna and the six sensors. You want that protection. The dial, your MIP memory and pixel negative display LCD. You can see from almost every angle, and we have a five button function system. There's so much going on here, and the beauty thing about the new Range Man, it combines the function of the Range Man of old with the new technology and features of the H2000, bringing everything to you now in a brand new design and a great sleek look. Despite that 20 millimeter thickness, I found that, you know, since my move was missing at the time, this would be a worthy replacement. Now, we do have ABC technology as well with your altimeter, barometer, and compass with GPS as well. On our way back down from the trek up the mountain, it was awesome. Had some fun up there, put the drone up, had a look at downtown Montreal, dynamite. One thing I forgot to mention though, with, with regards to the alarm, when I woke up at 4.50 this morning, I had the watch alarm set based on the Bluetooth connectivity with the app. Um, but when I woke up, the only thing that went off was my watch. It seems as though when you set the watch alarm based on this Bluetooth connectivity, what it does is it actually overrides your own phone alarm. The accelerometer for step tracking and the gyroscope for swim monitoring 
and pool or open water swimming. You're able to track activity and movement as well as things like trekking, which is great in case you want to go hiking up the mountains and stuff like that. Heart rate monitoring uh, for your outdoors and indoor gym activity as well, workouts and the like. A tide graph assists in knowing the high and low tides for whatever water activity or areas that you are around the world, including that world time. As a matter of fact, I have my time and tide set for Los Angeles because I'll be there next month for my trip, which will be fantastic. Give this thing a good run through the paces. Now, some of the other functions or features include world timer, stopwatch, countdown timer, I think it's four alarms with a snooze, which is great, sunrise and sunset which is fantastic. We have a tide graph, we have blood oxygen level readings, we have sleep measurement, heart rate monitor. I mean, the list goes on. Now I'm gonna get out in a boat and uh, put it through its paces and see what kind of activity we can get in and show you some action shots there of her on the wrist, because she is a great feel. But listen, because of the measurements, these specs, they're gonna be tough for some people, so if you have the option to try this thing on before, I would definitely recommend that because it may not be for everybody. Now the Bluetooth connectivity works in cooperation with the Casio Watch app, like as I mentioned before. However, you can run and function independent of the app, and that's a bonus with all of the specs that you have for this design. It's good to know that you can do that and also save power at the same time. It's supposed to be going south. GPS says we're going that way. Ah, there it is. When in Montreal, Montreal smoke meat. Also as an important update for the range man, she can be quickly charged in just a couple of hours by plugging it in with the alligator clip cables that are provided. But let us not forget, she can always be topped up with tough solar. A battery indicator is seen at the 6 o'clock position on most of your displays, and there are several. However, you can't access and change the displays or the face of the watch unless you're using the app connectivity. The app is nothing special, not too tough to navigate through. It just takes a few minutes to get used to it. The initial setup doesn't take long as I've mentioned and it does offer some great convenience like setting time zones, display options, things like that. And of course when it syncs, you always are going to have a universal time sync, which means you're going to have the best accuracy on the planet here. I now have two watches utilizing the Casio app and that's awesome. This is not a paid review and I love G-Shocks. Great for workout, great for activity tracking, great for being out there on the, in the wild. I love it. It's fantastic. Everything you need right at your fingertips. Can't beat that. One of the greatest tool watch designs out there with special performance. G-Shock Rangeman GPR H1000. Is there anything wrong with it? Wow. I think your biggest concern is going to be the size. If you can get over that hump, the Rangeman may just be for you. Other than some other small little issues as far as connectivity goes, whether you are into that or whether you don't want that, you want something completely independent, that's fine. My wrist is seven and a quarter inches. For all of the visuals that you're going to see during this video, you'll have an idea of how she's going to fit for me and maybe that could be something that you could utilize for yourself. Check out the website at your leisure. Go down there, pick out the model that's gonna be best for you. There's so many G-Shocks. I'm back. The crow has landed. Back on Ontario soil and with the new range man, GPRH1000. She's coming in at $670 Canadian. Now let me know if this is what you're okay with. Comment down below. Is the Bluetooth technology and all these apps with the GPS features worth the price? The GW9400 is still available with multiband 6, atomic time, ABC features, and tough solar. It could be a consideration for you if you wanted to not spend this $670. 670 Canadian is even a little bit more than the GBDH2000. Let me know, regardless, like it or not. Which brings me to my next thought. What's next for Casio G-Shock? I think she's a keeper. Thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell because you don't want to miss out on the next video and you know there's more content coming. I'm also on Instagram right there anytime. Casio G-Shock range, man. I got to get out there and get into it. Turn your notifications on. You'll get notified when the next video drops. That's my time. Appreciate all the support. Take care of you and yours and we'll see you on the next one.
Thank you.